Hey, it's Jang here from UltimateRC.com and RCMania.com, the place for toy-grade RC reviews. This is going to be a look at the Ignite RC Racing 99 Speedboat. The boat's just a little less than two feet long and it comes in two different colors. The style is inspired by what's called an outrigger three-point hydroplane. It has a main hull in the middle and then two smaller sponsons spaced apart up at the front. The boat has a single plastic propeller which is direct driven from an inboard electric motor and they do give you a spare propeller in this in case you hit something hard that's underneath the water that you don't see in a shallow area. Also if you hit something hard, you're probably not going to break off the rudder because it has this very nice hinging system and the plastic that it's made out of is also a little bit flexible. The cockpit canopy comes off with two screws that you can take out with just your fingers. This has a silicone seal around it to keep water out from the battery compartment. The set includes this rechargeable 9.6 volt nickel cadmium battery as well as a wall charger for it. The controller is pistol grip style with a large steering wheel and a throttle trigger. When I put the boat in the water and pulled that throttle trigger, I was immediately impressed by the speed. I've tested a handful of toy grade RC boats before and watched a bunch of them, and this one right here is definitely one of the fastest. It's not quite fast enough to get up on plane, but it does have a little bit of a rooster tail behind it, which is pretty cool. And when it goes over small waves, it can actually get out of the air in the front just a little bit. Steering is really good to the right, but not so much so to the left. There's a scientific reason for that, but it's long and boring and has something to do with the rotation of the propeller. Ultimately, all you need to know is that you can turn right pretty sharply, but if you need to make a left turn, be sure to start it a little bit earlier than you expect. You'll get used to it pretty quickly. Now the radio range on this boat is another thing that's very impressive. Look at just how far that boat is out. It's far enough away that with the naked eye it's a little bit hard to tell whether it's coming or going. Now I don't recommend that you ever drive a toy grade RC this far away from you, but it's comforting to know that you don't have to have it really close to the shore. If you just briefly lose track of your distance to it because you're having too much fun, you're not automatically going to lose the boat. The only thing that I didn't like about this boat was the runtime, which was pretty short at about six to seven minutes. That's actually on par with what you get from most fast, expensive, hobby grade RC boats, but for something this slow, you can do better by getting a better battery. That's it for this review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at rcmania.com.